As beginners, we all make mistakes when editing videos at some point because of the lack of editing skills. But no worry, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to avoid three major video editing mistakes so that we can make good video edits. First, let's talk about the most fundamental in video editing, plan and organize. We all know that we need to clarify the shot spot, time, and objects before photography. Well, the same is true with video editing. To make good edits, we should clarify the theme and the tone of the video first. In other words, we need to have a clear idea about what we want our audiences to see and feel. After that, we can select and keep the best clips that can match the theme and the tone of our project. Choose the proper music. After all of these, we can start the edits. Many beginners like to edit in this way. Drag a video to video track. They apply heavy edits and effects. For example, correct color, change speed, and apply motion effects. After that, they drag the next clip in the repeat edits. That's not the right workflow. Usually, everything you do in a project can be broken down into two parts, rough cut and fine cut. Firstly, we want to drag the main material for our storytelling to video track. Then we trim to keep the necessary segments for every clip. That's how we complete the rough cut. And then perfect the details for certain frames. For example, creating color, adding motion, or transition effects. That can help us edit the video faster and more efficiently. Music is a powerful tool that can help define the tone and the style of our videos and invoke a variety of emotions. But the overuse of music might ruin the video. There are two cases. Case number one is we use the wrong music. We all get used to adding background music for our video. This seems to be one of the most essential process when editing video. Suppose we add this song for this scene. We can feel what we see match what we hear, and the video makes us feel relaxing. So here the background music is a plus for our video. However, if we change the background music to this, which doesn't match the visual, we have a huge feeling that the visual and the sound are separate. The music now becomes a viewer of the video. That's not what we want. Case number two is we use too many songs in one video. Have you ever been there? Add different songs for a short piece of video. That get a weird outcome look like this. Bear in mind 
the change of music should follow the visual. Suppose there isn't change in video's tone or style, or we lack the skills to use music tastefully. The changes in background music might make audiences feel weird or redundant. In this case, less is more. Removing some unnecessary songs is good for our edits. Many beginners love to add a lot of transitions between clips for giving the video a professional looking. However, too many transitions often make our video looks amateurish and distracting. They will make our audiences hard to focus on the major content. In most cases, transitions can help us bridge two clips from different scenes smoothly. The point is, we should be careful about the quantity and quality of the transitions. We can see the use of advanced transitions in many good films and creations online. These transitions happen more naturally and won't be disturbing. Some can even amaze audiences. We've shared many tutorials about the use of transitions. You can find them on our editing tips and technique playlist. They can help you avoid the overuse of transitions. Alright, hopefully, after watching this tutorial, you've already mastered how to avoid the three major video editing mistakes so that we can make good video edits. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you in our next tips. Have a enjoy! Bye!